Hi, I'm Ashton Kutcher, and Esquire has asked me to explain some things about my life and career. So let's dive in, shall we? That's what it says for me to say. Let's dive in, shall we? I don't use the word shall very often, but the word shall has just been used. What's your go-to karaoke? <clears throat> I know what I want my go-to karaoke to be, but it's not. I'm just a small town girl, living in a lonely world. But it's not that, for obvious reasons. And then I've tried to make it Billy Jean is not my lover, but that is, for obvious reasons, that also is not it. So generally, I would go to a little bit of chicken fry. Cold beer on a Friday night, a pair of jeans that fit just right, and the radio's on. Zach Brown Band, Chicken Fried. I'll tell you a very funny karaoke story, it's worth it. There's an, an extraordinarily well-known singer that is maybe the best singer today that we happen to be neighbors with. And she was throwing a karaoke party. And she gets up and does this like out of this world bananas. And I'm like, this is just so unfair. And then this other kid gets up and he does this like ABBA song that's like so, I'm like, oh my God, it's like bananas. So the kid gets off stage and Mila and I go up to him and we're like, man, I gotta tell you something. You're a ringer. You're definitely, you're like a karaoke ringer. You're really good. Like, like really good. And he's like, thanks, man. I, thank you. I really appreciate that. So we go to our friend and we go, God, that guy was really good, huh? And they're like, it's Harry Styles. And I was like, who's that? And Mila's like, it's the guy from the boy band. He's like a professional singer. I was like, oh my God, now I feel like a jerk. He's a professional singer. And we're trying to tell him he's a good singer. And I'm like, feel so dumb. So I just really want to say, I'm sorry, Harry Styles, but you're really good at karaoke, man. Seriously, like really good. Do you have any family pets? Our family has four family pets. We have two birds. Uh, one's name is Mimi and the other one's name is I Don't Know. Specifically named I Don't Know because when we asked our four-year-old what the name of the bird should be, they said, I don't know. And then we were like, no, what should the name be? Said, I don't know. And then we were like, so the name is I Don't Know? And they go, yep, I don't know. And then we have two dogs. Uh, one is named Bernadette Peters and the other one is named Ricky Lake. Are you bummed now that you dropped the first name Chris? Uh, no, those guys are doing great. And look at how handsome they are. Like they just, they're so handsome. And this is like a pool of Chris. By the way, I probably can't tell you. I, I know that's Chris Pratt, Chris Hemsworth, and Chris Evans, um, and then Chris, Chris. Pine. Pine! I know Chris Pine. I've actually met Chris Pine. Chris Pine's really good friends with a really, a really good friend of mine. And so I've met Chris Pine and I sat next to him at a meal, but he doesn't look like Chris Pine in that photo. You created punk. I created punk. I created punk. I didn't create punk. I, well, there was a collective of humans that created punk. I cannot take full credit. Anyone you wish that you could have punked, but you didn't. I desperately wanted to punk George W. Bush because he was the president at the time when we created punk. I thought I had a couple secret service agents that would work with me on that, but it turns out that they're more loyal to the president than Ashton Kutcher. Yes, I referred to myself as Ashton Kutcher because this thing keeps referring to me as Ashton Kutcher, so I had to do it. Be honest, are you pissed? You didn't think of Zoolander first. No, but I do want to say, if, if you look in the um, top right uh, hand corner of that photo of my abs that look phenomenal, I don't know what happened to those, you'll see a guy in the background. If you really look close, you might see Superman, because that is Tom Welling. And that is when I met Tom Welling for the first time before he moved to Los Angeles and stayed at my house. And the other person that's in this particular catalog, if you actually go back and look at the whole catalog, is a young lady by the name of January Jones, who I met on this particular shoot. And then we dated for a while. And then she went on to have an acting career as well.
And those are the people that I recognize from these. If you actually want to see an extraordinarily accurate depiction of what it's like to be a male model, watch the first 10 minutes of Triangle of Sadness. I remember living that scene. The depiction is so accurate, it's terrifying. Any bands that you're obsessed by? Inequivocally, my favorite band is the Beatles. Like, I don't want it to be the Beatles because it's pretty obvious that it would be the Beatles, but I like all their songs very, very much. So it's the Beatles. Now, I will say this, if I could only listen to one song and you had to wake up every day and listen to one song, it's just Biggie hypnotized because Biggie, oh, makes me feel good. Do people ever ask you, dude, where's my car or anything else? Yes, that was a very, very prevalent part of my life until that I did punked and then everybody kept coming up to me and going like, Yo, you got punked. And I'm like, no, I didn't. You're just saying that. And now people ask me, what should I invest in? And I look at them like this for a very long time until it gets uncomfortable and I go, I don't know. I'm not an investment advisor. You inspired Diddy to run the New York City Marathon and then you ran it last year. What are the chances of the two of you running a marathon together in the future? My bucket list was to run a marathon, not to become a marathon runner. So the likelihood of the two of us running a marathon together is very low. I did call Diddy days before I ran and I asked him what his time was because I wanted to be sure that I shattered his time, but 10 years later, as in I was 10 years older than him when I ran it and I still shattered his time. So I just want to be clear about that. What is your go-to date night slam dunk? Anything not predictable. That's it, because if it's predictable, then it's not a slam dunk. What shows are you currently obsessed by? Oh, I, I cannot wait for Secession to come back. I, like, I want to know what Shiv is going to do. I'm, come on, Shiv, take out Tom, will ya? Can we get Ashton Kutcher in MCU? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I play a bad guy. I think it'd be more fun to play a bad guy, like the Joker, like that. I think that would be, I think it'd be fun to like play that version, of, not the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, like that's a little dark for me. I'm gonna be honest, like, it was a little too emotionally. <laughs> I, was, I was stressed watching. I don't need more stress. I want a, a fun Joker, but that is also slightly menacing. That would be fun. Do you think of yourself as an actor who moonlights as a VC or a VC who acts? I think of myself as a dad who has lots of jobs. How did it feel for you and Mila to be back on the set filming that 90s show? Did it bring a lot of emotions for both of you? I don't know if it brought up a lot of emotions as much as a lot of memories. Like being on the set again brought up a lot of memories. We're still in, very much in touch with most of the cast, but I would say if there was like one core emotion that it brought up, it was a sense of appreciation that we had that as our home for as long as we had it as our home and that it became a launching pad for both of us for our careers. And then a sense of wonder of like, how the hell did we get here? Your place or mine is your big return to rom-coms. Is it a big return or simply a return? I have always wanted to do a rom-com with Reese Witherspoon. I think I asked her to be my co-star in like three different rom-coms and it, it didn't work out. Um, it, frankly, she just said no. You became the 500th paying customer to sign up for Virgin Galactic Spaceship to voyage. Why did you want to go to space? <sighs> <laughs> wouldn't want to go to space. But space might be one of those things that you don't want to go first. But thanks for watching. <laughs> Check out your place or mine. Your place or mine. Imagine this guy rolling in and being like, your place or mine. Which one? <laughs> what is it? I mean, we're going somewhere. What's gonna happen when we get there? I don't know. If you come to my place, we might just play video games. Although I don't play video games. But if we go to your place, you get to pick the game that we play. Do you want to wake up in your bed tomorrow? Well, you're not waking up, I'm married. If you're coming to my place, you're staying in the guest room.